right From now. From Fox so. 61 News, this is an election 2020 special report. All right, thanks for being with us on election night 2020. I'm Brent Harden, a, a very a busy night at the polling places across Connecticut. The theme in most cities and towns, uh, long lines at the polls. Uh, take a look here at what it looked like uh, in Hartford at the polling location at the Grace Lutheran Church. Long lines uh, there as Hartford residents wait to cast their ballots. A big reason for those long lines, of course, social distancing during the pandemic. People keeping their distance and staying as safe as they can stay uh, during this COVID pandemic. And now it is all about tallying up those votes. Uh, Fox 61's Ania Maldonado uh, joins us now live in Hartford with the long process ahead for election officials. Zania. Well, Brent, as we heard from the Secretary of State, Denise Merrill, the state saw nearly 70 percent of registered voters turned out to vote. Out of that percentage, though, nearly 600,000 chose to turn in absentee ballots. And now poll workers across the state and right here at Hartford City Hall have to count up those ballots. Now, out of we spoke to some poll workers here. They say they have already run more than 10,000 ballots. They have about 11,000 in total so far. They explained counting all those ballots does take quite some time. They have to undo the envelope, write down the person's name, then separate the ballot so it remains anonymous and then put that in the tabulator. So that 10,000 number could go up as poll workers are out collecting those last minute ballots that were deposited before 8 p.m. right now and they will bring them back here to Hartford City Hall to finish out that count into the night. For now, we're live at Hartford City Hall. It's Nia Maldonado, Fox 61 News. Brent, that's right. Uh, we are getting some results so far. So far tonight, about 17 states have been called so far. A lot of uh, states on the East Coast right now being called, including Connecticut. That we did learn earlier that that breaking news, Joe Biden will take Connecticut right now. Now, over on the board right now, we are watching various races throughout the country, whether it's the presidential race as well as the uh, U.S. Senate race as well. Right now, President Donald Trump is leading a project based on the projections we've gotten so far with 50 percent uh, with former VP Joe Biden leading with 49 percent here. Uh, we can come back to me on air right there uh, with the U.S. Senate race. A lot of movement happening there as some of those polls are starting to close. We are watching these races very quickly, uh, very closely rather. Republicans are leading in the U.S. Senate right now with 53 seats. Democrats will need three to make changes there. So some of those races are coming in right now. Want to click some of them right now. Delaware, 31 percent of of those uh, votes have been counted so far. And then on the other side, we know that Georgia, about 7% of those races have been counted so far. But again, we are watching uh, this U.S. presidential map very, very closely. Now, some key battleground states to watch tonight that we're still waiting for those results to come in, including in Florida, where right now, let's see if that we can get that click there. There we go. Uh, some results coming in in Florida right now, about 80% have been counted there. And then, uh, of course, we are watching some of those other battleground states with Georgia as well. But for now, I'm going to send it back to you, Brent. Okay, you can always get the latest information on this election on fox61.com and the Fox 61 News app. Um, stay with us, uh, streaming live on Facebook and YouTube and the Fox 61 News app right now for continuing election coverage right here at home. And you can expect more tonight on the Fox 61 News.